Hey, so uh, there's this movie, it's called Inception, it's about people who are in a dream, and like, I thought it'd be cool if we saw it together, since we're both dreaming and all. <laughs> you know, maybe we can even hold hands or something. I do not speak English. What does this mean? Why do we dream about crushes in the first place? If you are dreaming about your crush, it means they hold a special place in your mind. So uh, basically, you like them. But not all dreams about crushes are good. In fact, there are some scenarios you should definitely look out for, because they can be the difference between life and death. And that brings us into number one, your crush dies. So uh, if your crush dies in a dream, this is actually a very positive thing, and here's why. As you may know, dreams predict the future with approximately a 90% accuracy rate. So if you have this dream, your brain is giving you some time to prepare for when that moment comes, which will be very soon. And the reason this is good is because now you can finally ask her out without worrying about the long-term consequences, because there are none. Oh yeah, another interpretation is that your mind has moved on from them. Personally, I believe in the first one because mathematically it makes more sense, but uh, this is just another interpretation to keep in mind. Two, you get rejected. You know, the worst part about being rejected in a dream is that you're not being rejected because of someone else. There's literally no one else in the dream. No, she would rather live a life of complete solitude than be with you. Okay, so this usually has to do with low self-confidence. You don't feel worthy of their love. If you end up meeting them in your dream and you make a move, your subconscious will say no. It could also be that you are unsure about how your crush really feels about you. So when you make your big move and ask them to hold your hand, yeah, you want her to do it, but deep down you have no idea what her response will be. Three, you are ignored. If you and your crush aren't interacting much in the dream, you probably aren't in real life either. Dreaming about being ignored could also mean there is something about yourself you are not wanting to show them, like how you pour milk before the cereal. Yeah, I would probably keep that hidden too. If you do this, your crush will never acknowledge you, until you realize that you should have water with your cereal instead. 4. 5. You and your crush start dating. This dream is a lot of fun, until you wake up and realize you are forever alone. Six, your crush is with someone else. All right, so maybe your crush is dating someone, but it's not you. If this happens, the best action is to take notes on who your crush is with. And then when you wake up in the real world, you can go and take care of business. Seven, arguing with your crush. If you constantly argue with your crush in dreams, it means you are about as compatible as pineapple on pizza. If you two can't get along in a dream, there's very little chance of you getting together in real life and making the relationship work. Of course, I could be wrong, but I'm about 91% sure that this is the case. Therefore, the best course of action, if you get this dream, is to find a new girlfriend. I have not been feeling fully satisfied in this relationship. I no longer am wanting to continue and think it would be best if we broke up. But, but we've been married for 17 years. Yeah, I literally had a dream last night. You pushed me off a cliff and I almost died. So do you really want to argue with that? So in conclusion, these are some common scenarios you might encounter in your dreams. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Reddit, Steam, Snapchat, Spotify, Facebook, Google Maps, Philips Hue, and of course, join the Discord or else. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.